Well, I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, Memorial Day weekend, long weekend. Um, right now, we're going to fill this bucket full of ash for our um, raised kind of wood chip, arborist aged wood chip bed alternative. We've been burning this uh, a little fire pit here for about two days. And you see, not everything's burnt because the base was already wet from all the rain we had, you know, over the last couple weeks. And, so that's kind of why I burnt, so it wouldn't spread everywhere. The top layer burnt. We didn't start it again, kind of piling everything like a TP style on there and a little bit more cardboard and paper and burn it again. And we want to collect this before any kind of significant rain happens. Or otherwise, the ashes go down or they, you know, they flow somewhere else. You know, once rain hits potash or wood ash, um, it's pretty much gone. Yeah. First bucket has been kind of poured on there and not everything is 100% burnt up. You may even find a nail or a random thing that's, you know, that's fine, like a stick that hasn't been burnt or whatever. And we do have a little bit of gypsum sheetrock that, you know, would burn over and over again. It just creates like a it comes part of the soul if you burn it so many times it crumbles up and stuff so that's fine I don't know if I was gonna get one bucket two or what so but it looks like we're gonna get probably two to three buckets am I gonna use all of it on this pile looks I don't know. like we're stopping at two so try to spread it everywhere there's a few places I didn't get but when I started kind of stirring the uh, fire the ashes was one little area where it was still smoking so that's fine we got two and hopefully this will help we burnt a lot of virginia creeper vine because it's something that i consider invasive uh, it's just it just takes over probably be doing a lot of cherry laurel and possibly like you know when dewberries and blackberries are spent for the season we need to burn them or make some kind of a weed tea or compost with them so that, you know, once they dry these uh, uh, dewberries and blackberries, their thorns are like 10 times worse. So they need to be weeded, pulled out in a safe manner and destroyed. They come up new from the ground pretty much every year anyway. So the new, this top growth is nothing after they've fruited so that's and also we are what i'm thinking is i can put some more wood material up here anywhere where i'm not going to dig or add dirt or put a plant i can still fill the edges and in between where the where the uh, spacers are under here and add more you know wood small wood big wood whatever like I said, I could probably go all around the edge and edge and edge until I get to like this here, this here, that there. And uh, this is just stuff that if I randomly find in the yard or whatever and I can use, I can just add it to the bed. It's not too much extra work doing this, just bringing it to the this bed. Is some bald cypress that got hit by lightning like 30, 35 years ago. And it took me like a bunch of throws to, th to break this to a small enough pieces. Throwing it against a tree. Whew, about out of breath doing it. So a lot of people wouldn't want to use cypress at all because of the slow breakdown, but we can add this to it with everything else. Yeah, okay, there it is, laying across the bed. I'll probably do the rest off of video and That's for sure. If you had some fresh or even aged bald cypress that like got hit by lightning or fell, it would have made a heck of a border here because it wouldn't rot for a long, long time. I mean, even though this looks like it's rotted, that is over 30 years old. You know, it's been dead that long. It's not been submerged in water got hit by lightning it stood up you know kind of crooked for years and years and then it finally fell um 
and it's been on the ground for several years and it still hasn't rotted. Well, this wasn't any kind of significant update for today, but we may finish up some more stuff today with this, but I got other garden projects and other things to do today. So if we do another video today or tomorrow on this bed, that's fine. If not, we'll just post whatever updates we have whenever we do one. All right, take care.